Okay. Let's see one of the complicated equations, or rather a little different. If x is equal to 3 plus square root of 8, find x square plus 1 upon x square. Okay. Now, normally, what will you do? You will try to put this value in this equation, okay, and solve it. The other way to solve these kinds of equation is to first try and see, is there something in this equation, some kind of an identity that we can plug in to see that this can be solved easily, right? Now, on a careful watch out, you will notice that this equation is something like x square plus 1 upon x square. I mean 1 upon x square can be written as 1 square upon x square, right, 1 upon x square or 1 upon x whole square, right. Now, but we don't have an equation for a square plus b square. What we had was that a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b, right. So, how do we solve this? How do we solve this? But what we have is that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab, right? So can we write this as x plus 1 upon x whole square is equal to x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2 into x into 1 upon x or simply this x can go and cancel with this, right. So what we are left with is x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2 or if you just move this 2 to the other side of the equation you get this as x plus 1 upon x whole square minus 2 is equal to x square plus 1 upon x square which is what we also have here, right. Now x square plus 1 upon x square can be written as x plus 1 upon x whole square minus 2, right. Now x we know is 3 plus root 8, right, plus, shall we find out what is the value of 1 upon x? So 1 upon x will be 1 upon 3 root 8. How do we remove the denominator? By multiplying it by, this is a plus b, so we multiply it by a minus b, right. So in the numerator you get 3 minus root 8, in the denominator you get a square, a is 3, so 3 square is 9 minus b square root 8 square which is 8. So this is basically 1. Hence my 1 upon x becomes 3 minus root 8 whole square minus 2. Now if you do the sum this cancels out with this 3 plus 3 gives you how much 6 6 square minus 2 or 36 minus 2 which is 4 sorry 34 right and this is your answer